Hello everybody and welcome to a proving episode of Tiny Little Games, the show where sometimes I review riddle play games months after release because I work a full-time job, manage a YouTube channel, and give attention to my fiancé. Yes, in that exact order. Today I'm reviewing Horizon Zero Dawn, also known as Brave 2, Revenge of the Machines. Plus, I just spent 50 hours playing this game and paid real money for it, and it's freaking robot dinosaurs. Horizon Zero Dawn is available on PlayStation 4. First up, gameplay. A resource collecting, people conversing, Dinobot killing, open world futuristic fantasy adventure. So pick up your bow, dodge and roll, because this gameplay is epic. After a childlike tutorial, you set out on a quest to answer questions unanswered. It's your typical open world tropes. Item collecting, map expanding, gear crafting, bandit camping, side questing, skill unlocking, and mechanical machine mayhem. All wrapped up in a surprisingly great story. However, above all else, the combat is amazing. Each weapon has a helpful ability for taking down enemies. Fire arrows, shock arrows, slingshot bombs, trip wires, rope snaring, trap placing, all mix and match for different outcomes. Which is great, considering every enemy type has a strength and weakness. Taking down a beast by setting it on fire and shooting off components with a well-placed arrow was epic and rewarding. Dodging into a slow-mo attack was just fun. And best of all, challenging. Yes, yes huge enemies will one-shot you for a quick death, and I came back begging for more. Throw in hacking machines to fight for you, and you have yourself a game that's more than a blast to play. In a market filled with redundant open-world games, Horizon is a breath of wild fresh air. Oops. Next up, graphics. Like a PS4 juiced up and hit the gym to pump some iron. This is the best looking game on PS4, and that's no tall order, seeing as Uncharted 4 is a beast in itself. However, this is open world, and the landscapes are lush and lavish, ranging from snowy mountains to desert sands, all coming together in a massive graphical explosion. Particles are clear, dust is dusty, and hair is, well, moves weird. However, the character models are great to look at, even though their faces look like a Botox PSA. Besides the small imperfections, everything else is just perfect. Just go into photo mode and see for yourself. Rarely do I stop and take in the sights of a game, but here I found myself looking into the horizon at the break of dawn. Get it? Anyway, feast your eyes on a game that is now my definition of eyeball pleasing. Finally, replayability. 50 hours in and I just can't stop, won't stop, like P. Diddy. Yes, the content in this game is immense. Even though it's your typical open world content, the massive battles and large scope makes the collect-a-thon that more enjoyable. Take on meaningful side quests, look for relics of a lost world, fight mini bosses to unlock hacking, get every skill, and search for the glorious best armor in the game. Or start a new game on a harder difficulty for a real challenge. Yeah, hurt me plenty. Whether you're a 100% completionist, a trophy hunting maniac, or a story driven gamer, Horizon Zero Dawn has replay value for every type of gamer. So steady your bow and get comfortable because this game offers a long single player experience that stays fun from start to finish. Now, I rate my real to play games on a 3 point scale. That's buy it, borrow it, or ditch it. Horizon Zero Dawn crafts, shoots, and explodes its way in as a buy it. Yay! A glorious leap of faith into a mechanical world, plus freaking robot dinosaurs. The gameplay is a dino rush, the graphics are PS4 roids, and the replayability is a lush grassland. Everything about the game is quality. The combat, the story, the side quests, all wrapped up in a complete package. I can't remember the last time a game I played had me this involved. It's great to look at, it's fantastic to battle mechanical beasts, and it's just pure fun. So if you like open worlds with machine battles, then buy this game. Even at full price, it's worth every penny. That's saying a lot from a guy who waits for a price drop. Or if you are in the fence, then blast it down with a well-placed exploding arrow. Because Horizon Zero Dawn comes with my highest recommendation. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games, the show where sometimes I review real to play games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more reviews, and share so others can experience my content. Time for me to destroy a massive machine like a dino killing maniac.